Now, a convex edge has the ability to level up the performance of your knife or axe. Now, there are a lot of techniques out there on how to resharpen a convex edge. But what happens when you damage that edge out in the field and all you have is a diamond stone, a ceramic sharpener, or a whetstone? Well, I'm gonna purposely damage the convex grind on this knife. Here, this is like the last thing in the whole wide world I wanna do, but I'm gonna put a burr on this beautiful edge and show us how to do just that. And guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, I do invite you to become part of the Gideon's Tactical family and smash that like button and make sure to hit the bell icon so that you can be notified every single week when I put up new content just like this. Now let's talk about the performance and maintenance of a convex edge. Convex edges tend to have a little bit more mass on them and think of like the hull of a ship versus the flat side of a pyramid that we normally would get on any flat or saber ground blade, you know, that would be out there or a hollow grind that would be concaved. This means that there is a little bit more weight and mass behind the edge, giving you more impact strength. And that means that it will have better edge stability, hold, if you will, its edge a little bit longer than your standard flat grinds. The trade-off is you need a different technique to resharpen a convex edge than you do a basic flat grind, which can be intimidating for some people. Now, the simplest way just to maintain a convex edge is with a leather strop. This field sharpener from WorkSharp has just that. And if you were to maintain it by after every use, just doing some stropping, you would probably never need to do anything else to the blade. But what happens if you hit a rock, you hand it to a buddy and they drop it, something dumb happens and there does become some damage. How do you fix that damage? This beautiful edge. So I've rolled it, you know, I can definitely feel it. All right, the sun is getting real harsh, so I'm gonna try to, there you go, you can, we can feel it. It's actually still performing pretty well. You can see about a little bit of that burring, and hopefully you guys are gonna be able to pick up on that right there. You can see where it's snagging, where I've damaged the edge. This alone is not going to take out now that damage that I've done, and I can't just start going on the stone itself. But guys, I wanna take a quick time out to tell you about today's sponsor, which is Zolio Satellite Communication Devices. Now you outdoor adventurers know that being able to communicate with the outside world, with your loved ones, and in an emergency situation, be able to reach out to first responders is vital. And with Zolio's dedicated SOS button, engaging with the Iridium satellite network makes it super easy to reach out to first responders. But I wanna hone in on their SMS features that stand out compared to others in the industry. You know, there's no service here, just to give you a quick example. Hopefully you guys can see that right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, send a message here. Just let her know I've arrived and that we're gonna start testing any minute now. Hope you're doing well, love you. Arrived at the spot, I'm gonna start testing now, period. So we'll give it a minute or two uh, and we'll see how long, it's 10, 24 right now when I sent it, we'll see how long it takes to get it back. And as I'm waiting for that message to come back, what I like is when you're inside the Zolio app, you can use up to 900 plus characters to give much more detailed communication back and forth when necessary, which means you're gonna have a better overall communication experience with the person that you're messaging. All right, I, I love this thing. So uh, it is now 1026, so it's been two minutes and just got one back here. Love you, babe. Uh, doing great. And guys, that's just one attribute of what Zolio and their satellite communicator offers. So I do invite you to go check out the link in the description box below, as well as my exclusive promo code, which will waive the $40 activation fee. You can go check out all that they have to offer, all the different levels of subscription, all the different things that this has and why I take it with me every time I go out. And so what I found is if I just kind of do a rocking motion backwards and forwards, kind of trying to let the knife, not like any pressure, I'm almost putting no pressure on this knife. And I've seen it done also, if you have uh, particular types of stones, you can kind of rock the stone back and forth, but you're basically trying to follow 
without creating a flat grind because you don't want to do that either by like pushing really hard. You could transition and make this into a flat grind and then you lose all the power that that convex edge has. And so what I'm doing is just kind of like letting the blade kind of rock itself down, rock itself up, rock itself down and rock itself up. And as I'm doing that, Hopefully you guys are gonna be able to pick that up on frame. I'm trying to do this all on frame for you guys. But basically sweeping up and then riding it down and sweeping it up and just kind of doing that motion. You can just kind of feel it. It's already starting to come out. I can already tell that it's starting to come out. It looks better. I don't know how well you guys can pick up on frame, but that burr, you can still see it a little bit there on frame. The light transition different on the edge. But I'm gonna work on this here for just a minute doing that and we'll test it out. I was here like three minutes maybe doing that. And I mean, that's pounding on that nail, definitely rolling that, which obviously would not be ideal. I've now done it on the stone. Now I'm just dropping it. It's about mirror polish there. I mean, beautiful. Super happy with that. There you go. Nice. So I, I hope you guys are going to be able to see this all on frame. I'm trying to do all this, you know, with lighting issues and stuff. But I mean, that's skin filleting sharp without much effort. And I was able to do it with a field sharpener. Uh, and I know there are guys that are way more proficient than me, way better than me at, you know, tuning up and maintaining convex edges. But a lot of videos I've seen are just of like mouse pads and sandpaper because of, you know, that wanting of contouring which is all true, but I mean, are you gonna pack all that in if you're hiking or camping, you know? I mean, not necessarily. So what do you do when you're out there and you damage it when you're hiking and camping? You know, that with a simple field kit, as long as you have that technique down, it's not difficult. I would recommend having a leather strap of some kind with that sharpening kit, just to kind of help tune that edge. And if, you know, maybe this is the very first convex knife you're considering, maybe it'd be smart to get a really budget, you know, ax or something to really learn how to do that well before you mar up or do something that you regret with this blade to just get proficient with it. And there's also the way of using um, a belt sharpener and just getting some slack in that belt. And you can do, you know, powered belt sharpeners that way as well to maintain and put convex edges. You can do it on all your knives. You can transition all your knives to that. I know many people do. Um, as well. So just wanted to kind of walk us through that whole process and maintaining and fixing damaged convex edges. Well guys, I hope that this video has been fun and entertaining, but also informative, giving you some confidence on how to resharpen those convex edges that you might be interested in owning. If you're looking at a particular knife or ax, or if you already own one and you're trying to figure out how to do that properly, I hope this has given you some good tips and pointers. Please leave comments below if you have any questions and I'll do my best to answer them in the comment section below. I invite you to check out the other video popping up if you haven't yet and to subscribe. And until next time, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and I'll see you out there.